everybody, Monica with King's Titan Homestead. And I'm here to take a thorough hive out of that bank, that dirt bank back there. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here they are going in this patch job. So I'm going to remove the mortar and uh, try to get the queen out. They don't want me to break down the wall at all, so I'm going to attempt a force abscond type technique. Everybody, <laughs> I, I'm sure you probably would have liked to have more of the removal. Um, unfortunately, I was doing it solo, and um, I started around seven o'clock, six forty-five, seven o'clock at night, and I didn't finish that until quarter to ten. And I got a. So what I ended up doing was opening the hole that went into the void just a little bit larger so that I could stick my hand all the way inside. And like Winnie the Pooh with his <laughs> paw in the honey jar, once you get your hand wrapped around the comb, it's difficult to pull it back out. So I had to make it just a little bit larger than that, um, which is, you know, it's normal. But so the homeowners did not want the bank taken down. So it had to be done kind of as a tunnel, which is fine because the dirt or it, the bank is like a caliche wall um, made of very hard substance. And so the only way for me to even scrape the sides of it was um, using my, um, what did I use? My pry bar. And so I was just smacking it with my pry bar and then popping out the small rocks with the pry bar. And with it being just myself solo, um, it's very difficult to film all of that, especially when you're standing on a bank that, um, so I was able to step up and stand on this like slope that was able to get me up about ooh, three, four feet so that I could reach it without a ladder. So, um, and the bank was like very soft and, and um, loose sand. So as I'm stepping on it, I'm just sliding and my tools are sliding everywhere. I couldn't put a bucket up near me. Um, I, had to <laughs> I had to literally uh, toss the comb on the bank on, uh, on the side. So the comb I got out was pretty, you know, large. Um, literally the inside of the void probably was 18 inches in by about 22 inches in, um, wide. And was about maybe, I'm saying about eight inches deep. So um, I was pulling out significant size pieces of comb. Um, I'm gonna go back and check on it tonight to make sure that it's completely empty. And then we're gonna shove rock into that void to fill it and then patch the front of it back up with mortar. So, um, but that's the job. Sorry there's not more of it, um, but um, maybe hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, be able to pay an assistant to travel with me wherever I go and uh, be able to make um, full content videos and you know hopefully but I also have a uh, GoPro so I'm gonna be trying that next um, this is just basically done with my iPhone um, my apologies so next up I have just a little bit of film um, or photos and video of some things in the desert. We have a great owl, um, um, great horned owl, I believe. Uh, what else do I have? Some video of w bees working some very hardly significant flowers, but they were all over those flowers. There's tons of other wildflowers blooming, but these are the flowers that they wanted, and I cannot remember the name of them. Um, if you know the name of them, please um, share, uh, comment below. Uh, the pincushion cactus because of the monsoon rains um, the pincushion cactus have these wonderful gigantic 
fruits on them this year, which is abnormal because normally they're really small and the prickly pear cactus have no fruits on them hardly. So it's just a really odd year. Um, but I was so impressed by the size of these fruits that I thought I'd share them with you. They taste like a cross between a kiwi and a strawberry. Little tart, but very good, very delicious. Um, but Dan smacks my hands when I go to forage them. Uh, he's like, those are for the animals. You cannot have them. And so it's very difficult to be a, a wild food forager with my husband. Um, I understand his point of view on that. I, you know, I want to leave as much as I can for the animals, but I like a treat every now and then. And these things are just absolutely delicious. So I'm hoping um, some of the ones that are around the property, I'm going to go around the property and see if I can find some for myself here that I've grown on the farm. So hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys very soon. Do you see the rattlesnake? Maybe you need to go back and check that out. There is a rattlesnake.